Do you want to know how to solve equations that look like this? What about when everything is reversed and the equation looks like this? In this video, we're going to answer both of those questions and so much more. Get the resource used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about two-step equations. In order to solve all linear equations, you must use the concept of equality. In other words, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must also do to the other. There are two steps when solving two-step equations. First, you use the addition or subtraction property of equality to get all of the constants on one side of the equation. And when we say constants, we are referring to numbers that are by themselves or do not have a variable attached to them. Second, you use the multiplication or division property of equality to cancel the variable's coefficient. So if you were given the term 3x, for example, in this term, the 3 would be the coefficient. So any term or any number that is attached to a variable is a coefficient. So let's go ahead and try some practice problems. The first equation we're given is 4x minus 3 equals 9. In order to solve this, you have to get rid of this minus 3 here. In order to get rid of the minus 3, you have to do the opposite. So the opposite of subtracting 3 is to add 3. So we're going to add 3 right here. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you also have to do to the other. So if we add 3 to this side, we also have to add 3 to this side. So now we have minus 3 plus 3 which cancels because of course that equals 0. And on this side we have 9 plus 3 which is 12. The equal sign comes straight down and then you have to bring the 4x down as well. So now we're left with 4x equals 12. In order to get rid of this 4 you have to divide. The reason we're dividing is because 4x is like saying 4 times x. So even though it's not written, there is a little multiplication symbol there. The opposite of 4 times x is to divide. So we're going to divide this side by 4. The 4's will cancel. And then of course whatever you do to one side you also have to do to the other. So we're also going to divide this side by 4. So on this side we're left with just the x and over here we have 12 divided by 4 which is 3. And that's what our solution is going to be. x equals 3. Moving on to number 2 we have 10x plus 15 equals 35. So the same rules apply. The first step that you have to do is you have to get rid of this 15. The opposite of adding 15 or plus 15 is to subtract 15. And then whatever you do to one side you also have to do to the other. So we're also going to subtract 15 to this side. Now positive 15 minus 15 gives you 0 or it cancels. And then 35 minus 15 will give you 20. Bring down your equal sign and then bring down the 10x. Now we have 10x equals 20. In order to get rid of this 10 or to get rid of the coefficient, we're going to have to divide. And we're dividing again because this is like saying 10 times x. So we're going to divide this side by 10 to cancel the 10s. And then whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So we're going to divide this side by 10. You end up with x equals 20 divided by 10, which is 2.
be we are giving the equation 52 equals negative 3x minus 8. Now this equation looks a little different because we have the x on this side of the equation sign. The rules, however, do not change. So we still need to get rid of this minus 8 so that we have all the constants on the same side. So we have minus 8 here. The opposite of that is to add 8. So we're going to add 8 to this side. Whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So we're also going to add 8 to this side. Of course, negative 8 plus 8 cancels. And then you're going to add 52 plus 8, which is 60. We're going to bring down our equal sign, and we're going to bring down our negative 3 x. The next step is to get rid of this negative 3. So this negative 3 is being multiplied to the x and the opposite of that is to divide. Now when you divide you have to include the negative because we also need to cancel the negative. So we're going to also divide by negative 3. So instead of just 3 we're also going to include the negative. Whatever you do to one side you also do to the other. So we're going to divide this by negative 3, they'll cancel, and then you're also going to divide 60 by negative 3, which would be negative 20. The equal sign comes down, and then x is left by itself on this side. So your solution is negative 20 equals x. Moving on to number 4, we have 37 equals 10 plus 9x. So this one is just like number 3 where we had the x on this side of the equation sign. That means we have to get rid of this 10. So when we get rid of this 10, this is a positive 10, so we have to subtract 10 from this side. Whatever you do to one side, you also do to the other, so we're also going to subtract 10 from this side. 10 minus 10 is 0, so they cancel. Then you do 37 minus 10, which will be 27. Bring down the equal sign, and then bring down the 9x. The next step is to get rid of the coefficient. In this case, this is like 9 times x, so the opposite of 9 times x would be to divide by 9. So we're going to divide both sides by 9. You get 27 divided by 9, which is 3, is equal to these cancel, and you're left with just x. So you get 3 equals x. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.